Suzette is nothing if not ornamental, like the dance combs of savage races. This one in the British Museum collection comes from Borneo. The combs are of the Solomon Islanders, were very ornamental too, but they looked more like the wire brushes we use today. The Sierra Leoneans liked the prongs even longer, and the handles were magnificent examples of native carving. Combs from southern Nigeria also had long, thin teeth, and the decoration of the handles was even more ambitious. The tall, dark and handsome gentleman of the Congo used a three-pronged comb with an impish figure on the handle. The local dandies treasured their combs so much that they seldom parted with them. With only three prongs, it was rather difficult. But the King Pippin of carved combs comes from Suriname in Dutch Guiana. It was an artistic masterpiece. Shaped like a horse's head is a comb of moose horn from East New England. The teeth were thin and very sharp. Even thinner and sharper, and more like claws, are the teeth of an East Indian comb of buffalo horn. The ladies of the harem used a sort of two-way comb of gold and silver. It was a most luxurious plaything and went through the hair with the greatest of ease. <laughs>